Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. So today we are going to look at how you can add a checkbox column in data grid view, okay? This is what we are going to look at. You can see uh, this is a checkbox, okay? I can select them, okay? And then uh, when I click the checkbox, it raises an event, okay? So uh, this is what we are going to look at today. Okay, so uh, the first thing that you do, uh, fire up your IDE. Obviously, I'm using Visual Studio uh, 2013. Control Shift uh, plus N uh, to bring for you the new project window. Now uh, I'll call mine uh, VB Checkbox Column. Then I click OK. My form is here. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to very first add a data grid view, then dock it in parent container, double click. Now, here uh, I'm going to write this method known as update dg. Then I'll come and define uh, the method private sub update dg then the first thing uh, we're going to add column add columns okay so to add columns uh, just say uh, data grid view 1 data grid view 1 First of all, we define the column count. So, let have grid view one dot column count equal to three. Then data grid view one dot columns. The first column that its name property will give it uh, position. This is the head header of the column then uh, I'll reuse this one at uh, the second one its name property will give it to be team well the third one uh, its name property will give it to points okay now after that one uh, I'll define an array, just say dim, I'll define an array list, I mean, just say dim, row, okay, dim row as array list equal to new array list, okay, now we'll add row dot add the first one is one, then I'll reuse this one once more. Uh, the second element will be, uh, I'll say, um, Barcelona. Uh, then the third one, uh, the, the third element in the room uh, will be points, I'll say 90. Okay, then Remember, uh, this one, so far we've just added uh, this stuff uh, to the array list, which is the row, but we've not added it to the data grid view. So to add it to the data grid view, just say data grid view 1 dot rows, it is a row, so we want to add it to the data grid view. Okay, dot row dot add, then row dot to array because normally the add method it expects an array it does not expect an array list so we convert this uh, particular array array list to array okay 
that is why we use the to array method now that agree we want dot cross dot add yeah so the next thing I'll just copy paste this one now let me comment it as usual I normally like commenting add rows now uh, add second row okay now uh, this one will be two well this one will be re Real Madrid and this one will be 86 and then the third row three rows are enough so uh, the third row this one will be three and this one will be Valencia this one should not be 96 this one should be 86 this one will be 79 so far uh, I've added rows, I've added columns what we've not added is the uh, checkbox column okay so uh, I'll come here say add checkbox column so uh, to add the checkbox column I'll just say a dim I'll call it check equal dim as data grid view one okay not data grid view one data grid view one checkbox column okay dim check as data grid one equal to new data grid view checkbox column okay now we've defined I uh, called it check now uh, we will now assign its uh, check dot header header text property we'll assign it to uh, I'll call it uh, qualified then check dot name I'll call it uh, I'll just call it check okay now uh, the last thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add uh, the checkbox into the column okay the checkbox column into the data grid view so just say data grid view data grid view one okay dot uh, columns remember it's a column data grid view one uh, dot columns okay dot add then we add it over there checkbox okay now uh, let's run it and see okay you can see now what we want to do we want to capture these events like when somebody clicks here we want to capture that particular event so uh, what we do I uh, just come to the form one uh, design Uh, click the data grid view then come to the event section now from the event section I uh, will use the cell click now when somebody clicks that uh, cell okay when somebody clicks any event, uh, cell uh, an event will be raised and then we'll check using if we'll check if e dot column index equal to 3 then okay then uh, we'll display message box 
dutsho e dot row index okay e dot row index plus one we just want to d uh, uh, display like if it is the first one just want to display it we are adding one because counting normally starts at zero so e dot row index plus one dot to string then plus row clicked okay or cell clicked now uh, let's run our app and see uh, now guys uh, here it is uh, if I click this one you can see first cell clicked second okay third clicked okay so uh, guys uh, that is it uh, we've seen how to add a checkbox column in a data grid view hope you've enjoyed the tutorial if you have please uh, subscribe to this channel uh, comment on our videos uh, please uh, like this video share it with friends so guys uh, take care see you next time